everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs, and today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute fun fold card featuring the best bunny stamp and punch. Isn't he so cute? Now, I want to show you this one first. This was a swap card I made for my team, and it's the same concept. I use the Tropical Chic paper and it has more of a girly look but this time I'm making more of a masculine card with our little bunny and I'm using some brand new paper out of the 2018 holiday catalog that's called festive farmhouse and it's actually Christmas paper but we're gonna use it to make this um, fun little card all right so let's get started the first thing you're gonna need is a piece of gray granite card stock that measures four and a fourth by 11, and you're gonna score it at two and a fourth and six and three fourths. So then that bottom folds up like that, and the top folds down like that. Now I have already cut my paper, so we're gonna put some of the paper on first, and then I'm, we're gonna cut that circle. So you can see this is that cute little Christmas paper. Um, this piece is four by four. And we're gonna put that on the front panel. And then this piece, also Christmas on the back, but these little gray stars are really cute. Little masculine print, all right? And this is a two and an eighth by four, and we're gonna put that right there. Now before we go any further, we need to cut that circle. All right, now we're gonna use the second largest stitched circle and we're folding this cardstock down and we're gonna lay it here and we wanna get half of the circle um, on this side and half on that side. So really you're just splitting that circle. Now if I let go of it, it's gonna pop up. So I'm gonna use some post-it notes to kind of hold everything down and in place. When you've got this many pieces with folds, sometimes you need a little help with your post-it note. All right, now I am cutting through two layers of cardstock and a layer of designer series paper. So I'm gonna kind of go through a couple of times, make sure I get that cut. Let's take off our post-it notes. And let's see how we did. Yeah, I think it might have gone through. It might need a little bit of help here with my scissors. So, I'm just gonna take my scissors and run it around that edge. It's pretty much cut, so I'm just kind of helping it out. I don't wanna tear it. Let's see, I wanna do this without tearing it. All right, and usually when this happens, if you just kind of run your scissors through that little line, it'll pop right out. There we go. All right, now we've got a rough edge there, but that's okay because we are going to cover that up. Um, one way you can get around that is to cut the circle without the DSP first and then put the DSP and run it again. But we just did it the quick way. But let me show you. You're going to take a piece of 4x4 four four cardstock and we're going to put that on the... There we go. That's better. There, see, we didn't want it peeking through there. Okay, we're ready. Now... Let's take this circle and we're gonna adhere it right there, all right? So that when this opens, that will be there. We might wanna put it down a little bit lower. Let's see, we wanna get it right there so that it opens right. All right, hold it in place. So a little DS or a little adhesive there to hold it and let's test it out. There we go. All right, let's make our cute little bunny, you guys. We're gonna use the head and the body and the hands and that little tail right there. And we want to get them on our block so that we only have to do one punch. And here's our punch. We're gonna turn it over like this and we're going to punch out all those shapes. This is just a, a um, template for us to line up our little our little stamps, okay? We know that's where they need to be to be punched. So I'm gonna take this guy, it's kind of like a little puzzle, fit him in there, and the head, fit that in there, and the hands, fit those in there, and the little bunny tail right here. All right, so once you've got your little pieces, you can fill them 
kind of nestle down into that, that hole that you've punched. You're gonna take your block and just set it down and pick them up. Now when you stamp them, they're gonna be exactly where you wanna punch them. All right, so let's give that a try. Right here, I'm gonna use Memento because I'm also going to color with my blends just a tad bit. Let's do that right there. All right, now before we move on, let's do his little face right there. Oh, he's so cute. All right, let's see. Let's put it to the test. And sure enough, we've got it lined up perfectly. All right, now let's do a little bit of coloring on these cute pieces. Not too much because I want him to be a little white bunny. We have a white bunny that lives at our house, and so of course I'm a little partial. Now I'm gonna use the lightest petal pink here in his ears. And then I'm just gonna go around very lightly around the outside of his belly, like that. I think I'm gonna put a little pink here on his cheeks and maybe just a little pink there in his paws. So cute. All right, so now let's put him together. I think I'm just gonna use some glue dots. Like that. And he's gonna hold a carrot in his hands. So put those there and his little bunny tail is going to come out from the back side like that, peeking out. All right, now let's get that piece of cardstock that we had and let's do the little carrot right here. And we're gonna do him in memento also. And then I'm gonna take the pumpkin pie. And I think I actually pulled out Cajun Craze, but that's all right, we'll go with Cajun Craze. Get a carrot and old olive. Right there. Now this one doesn't have a punch or a die, so we're gonna have to fussy cut it. So just get your smallest, sharpest scissors and just cut right on the outside of that black line. Cut some of that excess away, it'll make it easier to cut out all the way around. One more little glue dot. And we'll put his cute little carrot in his little paws. There we go. All right, now let's layer him up on our little circle. I cut out ahead of time two little pieces of grass, and these are from the lakeside framelits, and they're done in Granny Apple cardstock. So I'm gonna put one there. And I'm using glue dots. You can use your fine tip glue pen too. And that one can go there. And then let's see, we're gonna put him down just like that. Let's see where we want to put him. And I think, let's see, do we want, yeah, let's do dimensionals on him. We'll put one right there and one right there. All right, I'm gonna tuck him down because we don't want his ears sticking out too high above that circle because that'll make it hard to open. There we go, isn't he so cute? All right, so now I brought in a little bit of that orange color. I've cut a half inch by four and a fourth piece of pumpkin pie, DSP, and I'm just gonna adhere it right across there. And then I'm gonna use some more new product. This is the braided linen trim in the holiday catalog. It goes along with that beautiful farmhouse paper so nicely. 
it's kind of rustic and I thought it fit our little masculine card, although some people would argue that a masculine card shouldn't have a bow. I don't, I don't think that's true. All right, there we go. Now let's do a little something on the inside. I'm gonna use this little hopping by, the little hop, hop, hop stamp. Looks like a little bunny has been hopping across the page. And then I'm gonna use the sentiment that says hopping by to just say hi. There we go, isn't that adorable? So cute. All right, let's close them up, take a look at them, and there you have it. All right, you guys, now I want you to know that I've done a whole Facebook Friday on the Best Bunny, and I have three projects using him. And in this video on YouTube, you can click back over, the link will be there, to this post. And you can actually print out these PDFs or save them. And it has all the product information as well as the measurements for this card. All right, thanks everybody. I hope you have a great day. Let me know if you have questions. Bye.